it can feel good to be needed by our children. So how do we find that balance between feeling good and uh, also allowing our children their independent. Children are great by their very nature and we have the privilege and responsibility of raising them. It can be challenging at times. Let's talk about it. Hi, I'm Cynthia Armstrong. I'm a general and special education teacher. I homeschooled my own children for five years and I talk about those things that I've studied and I've learned academically and alternatively that really help me uh, and my children and my students and I want to share those with you. Today, we're talking about uh, the things that we feel good about, uh, about our children. When our children need us, that can really uh, create emotions in us that we like. Uh, and when we like them, subconsciously, our brain goes, ooh, I need more of that. I really want to get more of that. And the way I get more of that is doing the same thing that I'm doing. And so we, as parents, uh, kind of need to self-reflect. We would benefit from self-reflecting and saying, what is it that I like about um, how my children respond to me? And am I trying to get them to give me more of that subconsciously or consciously? So one of those things is children need us like, oh, mom, help me with this. You know, I, you know, I, I have a question. What's the answer to this problem? And they come to us with a need and then we go, oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel good. My my child's coming to me and I get to help them solve their problems or I get to seem like, you know, I am the person of wisdom who knows the answers uh, and that feels good to me. Uh, and I know this isn't everyone uh, in all of these points, but to some degree, I think all of us as parents have that. But then the question is, does it stop there like, ooh, or do we seek out more of it, whether we are conscious of it or not? And that's the tricky part is when it's subconscious. You know, are we really looking for ways for our children to need us more because that felt good? Or are we giving them the skills and uh, the understanding and the self-awareness they need to be able to fulfill it all, uh, to fulfill their needs on their own. And yes, we consciously know, yeah, that's, that's what we want for our children. But what patterns might we have that help us to support our children in needing us? And it can be very subtle. Uh, a lot of children... Uh, might have like anxiety, depression, OCD, uh, many of those mental health uh, things that they have, right? And this is uh, a pattern we could be playing into because uh, it could be a way for them to maybe control us, but that's okay. We want to be controlled because then it makes us to feel good. We feel needed. And so we could support children in certain behaviors or thoughts or beliefs that don't really serve them uh, because it helps us to feel better. And we, again, can perhaps not even realize this consciously because, you know, the doctor says they have depression. And so this is how I can help them with that depression or um, these labels then provide us with a reason to come in and save our child, to be there for our child. And, uh, and sometimes it's, it's so funny when we really, really, when I start working with parents and we really dig down, it's like I was really annoyed at my child for needing me, but I really wanted them to need me. 
And so I was supporting them in their needing me, even though at the time I was consciously saying, oh, this is so annoying or, or what's wrong with my child or, or, uh, feeling perhaps even impatient or, you know, I, I sent you to this doctor. So why is this still here? So even though we might have some of these conscious thoughts or these annoyances, we can still be holding on to that pattern. So remember, children are great by their very natures, and we have that privilege and that responsibility to uh, raise them. Hi friends, Cynthia Armstrong here. Thanks for joining us today. Please make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can see when new videos come out and like this one. It is such a responsibility and a challenge to raise great kids and we are here to help you along that journey to make it as enjoyable and fun and fulfilling as possible. Please check out our website, www.raisinggreatkids.net, and I will leave that in the description below.